everybody, this is Vicki Woodyard, and I'd like to talk to you about a very specific subject, and that would be inner suffering. I say inner suffering because outwardly the ego is always pretending that there's nothing wrong with me, you know, I'm fine, things are looking good, and yet behind that <laughs> that thin facade, there's deep and true and perpetual suffering. Perpetual describes it perfectly. I know because I work on myself daily. Oh, sometimes I forget that I'm suffering. It's so easy to do. That's called mechanical suffering. Conscious suffering is what Christ came to teach us. Christ died conscious. When you suffer consciously, the load lifts, and you find yourself out in a wide open space that is not cram jam with your personal thoughts about how you are personally suffering. <laughs> it's a mess, and to dig out of the mess one shovel at a time is not necessary. We can do it like that. By what the work calls coming awake, all of a sudden you just come awake and you sit up straighter, you look around the room and you say, I am. I'm witnessing. I'm witnessing you out there, and at the same time I'm witnessing me in here. And in this sort of double action, the suffering is not there anymore. This is a very frightening thing to present people with, though. People who are play-acting need you to play-act the scene with them. Do you understand what I mean? I'll give you an example. My mother lived in another state. And we would talk on the phone, maybe once a week. And her need for me to stay asleep and to stay mechanical was stronger than my need to wake up. And so I played along with her. As a result, nothing ever really changed between us. And that's how most people die. They die in their sleep. Do you want to die in your sleep? Just keep playing your role. Suffering on the inside, smiling on the outside. A perfect split in your nature. Now, I was called to study with Vernon Howard. And with him, job one was to notice your pain. The sign over the entrance to the hall said, when your pain gets too bad, come back. He knew we had to reach a certain level of intolerable pain before we could hear the words of Christ who said, you know, let the little children come unto me. Let the little child in you come unto the word, unto the living experience of holy innocence in which you transcend your suffering. And at this point, the words are just coming to me. And so I don't know what I'll say next. I have opened the door for the Christ consciousness to come in. I'm looking right at the back of my little phone camera and I don't know who is listening or what their suffering is about, but I'm here to tell you that there's only one way to lift your suffering and that is to experience it consciously, suffer consciously. That's the entire secret of esoteric Christianity sometimes called the work. We don't have to struggle in the work. There are two sayings that I go back to. The work will find a way and the light will heal us. All we are asked to do then is to witness our suffering, not try to shadow box with it, not try to play act as if we're happy and we can somehow bear this terrible inner suffering. We can't.
you have to suffer until you reach the point of pure 100% guaranteed inescapable pain. And in that moment, the Christ consciousness is you. Thanks for listening.